Minister of State Joseph Harmon on Thursday evening welcomed the new non-resident ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to Guyana, Jacob Fredericks, where he expressed hope that the two countries will foster closer ties and enhanced cooperation. Ambassador Fredericks, who is based in Suriname, said he expects that through his appointment, there will be more collaboration and strengthened ties between Guyana and the Netherlands. Ambassador Fredericks' letters of credence were accepted by President David Granger on Wednesday at State House. In celebration of 50 years of diplomatic relations between Ghana and Brazil, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has partnered with Rainforest Tours to host the South Rupununi Safari Brazil edition. Tiffany Rodias brings us the details. Director of the Department of the Americas at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Charlene Phoenix, said the partnership is in celebration of 50 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries. There's quite a lot to celebrate, and so what we want to do with this occasion is to ensure that the public is aware of what is happening. And so this morning we're quite pleased to be engaged because this is not, this is the kind of activity that brings your public on board because it's, it's, it's linking our peoples. Guyana and Brazil celebrated their Jubilee relationship anniversary in August, but a number of activities are scheduled to mark the observance for the remainder of the year. Managing Director of Rainforest Tours, Frank Singh, noted it is the first time the safari will cross the border since it began 16 years ago. This is considered to be the biggest safari of the year since the journey will last for a period of six days. And we'll be crossing borders into the state of Oremo, a state known for its historic site, Amazon Rainforest, beautiful sites, national park, recreation center, and the Grand Hotel, etc. The safari also will be taking participants to overnight at one of the largest ranch in the world, that is in Guyana, which is Dadanawa Ranch. And we can continue on to the historical village, which is known as a Shelton. Representatives from 10 countries using at least 30 vehicles are participating in the safari. Director General of the Guyana Tourism Authority, Donald Sinclair, described the safari as important to strengthening tourism links between the two countries. This 10-nation safari, to me, is a turning point in terms of safari in Guyana. And I'm very happy at the way in which this event has uh, grown. The South Rupununi Safari Brazil edition will be held from November 20 to 25. Persons interested in participating in the safari can contact Rainforest Tours or the GTA. For Infohub, Tiffany Rogers.